All right, so this is one of the best parts of Really Rad Weekend. We do usually a, uh, a speakeasy, top secret, trade night. We've got a, a room where everybody brings their games and they buy, sell, trade with each other. And we got it going on here in room 4004. Let's check it out. I made the same mistake. Try to see the games. Kind of cramped in here. But I'll try to do my best to cash it. For 60 bucks. To fill? I don't know what else. Blue shirt? Mike? Yeah, 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 Mike. Mike McLoon of Retro Bash. Caleb from Tree Sale is here. I'm filming on YouTube. Thanks for coming by, man. I I thought you wouldn't be able to make it. Appreciate you. Uh, that's me. Okay. Where's your stuff? That's some good stuff here. Yeah, it was here? kind of, yeah, it was rad junk trade bait. It was stuff that I know all you resellers, especially anybody that's oh, on yeah. Amazon, can uh, use yeah, some of this stuff. <laughs> so yeah, you, I'll, uh, let me, I'm going to do like a five minute video just to try to capture the games and stuff, and then let me do a deal with you. Dude, that was the best. It was, I just, I can't Look at that, dude. Seems reasonable. 50 bucks for Super Bomber in. Ain't bad. You finding stuff? Just yeah. laying around? I like this. Look at this. What do we got here? This may be Bomber here. Man? This may be here for play. I'm not sure if this was brought out to I mean, hook up to the TV. A, I mean, I don't see nothing to hook it up. Literally, that's the only thing in my collection. Did you want to play that? Did you bring them out yeah. to hook them yeah. up and play? I figured. Yo, actually, I don't know if you knew, but Devin's really big Bomberman guy. Like, I know he like, is. Like, actually, the number one bomber collector he's in the U.S. He's a big a, reseller. Yeah. There's a dude in South America who actually has a couple more copies of Saturn Bomberman than he And does. Devin hates him. What hates big him. rivalry. Dude, he's actually planning to go there. And assassinate him. I mean, oh, crazy. God, God. Oh, man. Sorry. Crazy. 100% of my collection is Bomberman. That's it right there. <laughs> that's it. That's, that's my that's entire collection. Why don't you have a Saturn Bomberman right now? <laughs> Bro, he's trying to get that, what is this? Is this like an LRG Eight thing? player? 64 player? Yeah. Something scary? Eight, I think it's... I, 16. There we go. For what? Saturn Bomberman supports yeah, yeah. that? 16? 16 million. I didn't know that. Is it 8 or 16? I think it's, yeah, 16. Yeah, I think it's ridiculous. Yeah. So I think it's... I think it's 16 player Mario Kart on the game with you. This is you, Evan? Yeah. This is, uh, no, this is me. Good. Brought this stuff out. Oh, if I needed that manual, I would freaking go for it. I'm, I'm trying. That's what I'm trying. We're trying to figure out a trade for it. You know, I'm a big Resident Evil long box. I've got a jewel case variant, and I'm missing a disc for it. So if if you guys work anything out, and if you're willing to move a disc only, if you don't need it, Evan, I I could absolutely use one. Yeah. Exactly. That would be a bad idea. I, I, I pick them up all the time. Uh, Do you need a manual, like, Evan? No, but I just, I, I buy any piece of it. But I have, I, you know, you I piece them together, piece yeah. Them. You got this one, too. Well, just just keep me in mind for a disc only of that OG print of Resident Evil, because I, I need one right now. I, you know what's, I don't think there's a difference between this one and the jewel version. There's not. It's the exact same disc. Other than, like, I don't know if there's, like, a small, like, barcode number difference or something. I don't think so. If there is, I don't care about it. It's, it they look so identical. No, I mean, everything's spelled. Yeah, it's, 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 Can I flip through this? Yeah, yeah, go ahead, yeah. Bro, is that Gex? Bro, is that Gex? Yeah, I was gonna say, I see a Gex too. Enter the Gecko. Timeless classic. Right? The content. He's got to play it. 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 He's <laughs> yeah, probably like 65% of the trunk of the board. Yeah, okay. Well, not so, so it's not like man.
Yeah. Distraga. These are great titles. There's nothing else you like in the I mean, like, how far I mean, I like the first to metal. Can't do it. No, I never. Is what I was trying like, to trade towards that. Trade yeah. Yeah. The other ones. Yeah. I don't know. I just feel like with those, if I were to trade for something, I'd more so like trade for something. Not just these. No, I'm just like, she was here. Yeah, this one's really what happened to the issue one that was sitting there? There's a Nintendo Power issue one. There it is. Whose is that? Is that yours? What's your price on that? Two hundo. That's it? Yeah. It looks all right. It's pretty good. It is pretty good. Why are you being so cheap? It's got everything? Yeah, uh, one of the like mailing cards was like torn out. On okay, the back, but it's got the poster. That's a really good asking price. I'm trying to trade for the top loader and the, Z and the white Z bag, but he's thinking about it. We got the gray. Josh, where's Josh at? He's over there thinking about it. He's over there thinking about that shit. He's looking at his copy to see if this is an upgrade or not. Hey, I'll give him a nudge and tell him that's a good idea. Yeah. Because that's the kind of piece you can put on eBay for more than two hundred. Yeah. And if he's got another one at home, either way, like, you know. Where'd you get that Sega bag from? Uh, they're from the arcade in Japan. So That's get, sick. Yeah, they have them. Like, you put your gachapons in it or whatever. Did you get it through Steve? No. Yeah. Yeah. I, actually, I've got them from a lot of people, but I think I got these from uh, Kucharski. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. That's cool. He, I had those, and he had a, a Toys R Us bag. I got this one. So they, they made their way back to Florida somehow. That's funny, dude. That's cool. I like those. What's going on in here? Oh, that's more gauges. Yeah, that's more of my garbage. Mm -hmm. I just curated my garbage room today, and I was like, "What a shame! I'm a fat ass." Like, dude, these. This is like the cheapest of like the Capcom residual shirts. Yeah, Ooh, the Capcom on the sleeve is hard. Oh, it's congested in here. I might have to wrap up this video. Talk to Caleb about the Wii games that he wants to get. Might have to do business now. I can do a video too of capturing like. You see this fucking expertise going on right here? Was he verifying authenticity? Yeah. He, no, yeah. He yeah. spit on oh, yeah. it a little bit too. Yeah, I put a little spit in there. Yeah, so I think what I'm gonna have to do, I'm gonna step out for a sec. I'm gonna do my closing video thoughts. But yeah. Favorite part of really rad weekend? I can't really say it's the favorite part. It's kind of tied for the favorite. Probably the drinking. Partying, um, really, uh, Rad Bar, those are the parts that are probably on par with this kind of an experience, but this is usually one of the most memorable parts of really Rad Weekend, doing the hotel, oh, trade me, oh, Steve is here, how the fuck, Sega oh, Steve, yeah. that, that man who just walked in, big guy, carrying the big toad. He's probably the nation's leading expert on Sega Genesis. He's super humble about it, too. That's he's like, cool. He's like, nah, you know, I'm just a guy. But it's like, nah, he's full set at Genesis. He's only a few away from having the whole world.